Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect cPanel to WordPress in 2024. So today, we're diving into a fundamental connection in the web world. How to connect a cPanel to WordPress in 2024. So if you're ready to take control of your website's backend and harness the power of cPanel, of course, for your WordPress website or site, stick around and I'll guide you through the step-by-step process of making this crucial connection so let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have then what you will need to do now is simply go and access your cpanel account let's kick things off by logging into your cpanel account if you're not familiar, cPanel, of course, is a web hosting control panel that allows you to manage various aspects of your hosting accounts. Navigate to your hosting provider, log in, and find the cPanel section. So, of course, I'll just show you some free options for to access like a cPanel. So, go here, go to freehosting.com. Of course, make sure to log in at your account if you have an account here at the top right corner. If you don't have an account, click on sign up instead. And for me, I'll just go here and click on sign up. As example, we want the free hosting. So let's just go into that. And of course, you can register a domain that you, if you want to, you can even transfer your domain from another register, or you'll be using your existing domain and updates my name server. So do whatever suits you as example. So we can check whatever suits you. So as example, just Omex, I don't know, and check. And let's see. So it's an available. So let's say, an example, we'll add some 0215 check and as you can see it's available and if you want to continue to register this domain you will have to go and pay other than that if you go here as an example and click on home you will not be able to do anything so if we click on here we'll be able to so you'll basically have to go and buy one or transfer a domain that you already own or simply just use the existing one and update the name servers so do whatever suits you then of course you can start this free domain of course to access a cpanel so basically here you can once you create your account of course you can even continue if you have as i said a domain name and just transfer it in here and basically of course they will you will have to wait until it's transferred then you'll find yourself on something like that you'll be able to uh, access the wordpress themes wordpress plugins php scripts html templates and logo templates I will not be able to access the cPanel, uh, so I'll just tell you the steps on how, as an example, to connect your cPanel to your WordPress. So basically, you can just go and open like cPanel. So let's just go as an example. I'll just type cPanel in here and see. Uh, let's just click on here. So go to cPanel, of course. Make sure to log in into your account. So for you, just go and log in into your account, uh, of course. Click on account login, then login into your account. And within your cPanel, you'll have to look for Softaculous and Apps Installer or similar tool. And this is a fantastic utility, utility that simplifies the process of installing applications, including WordPress and a lot of other applications. So you can open it to begin the WordPress installation process. Of course, you'll have to simply select WordPress from the list of available, available applications and you will, you'll be prompted to fill in the essential details or essential details uh, such as choosing the domain where you want to install the WordPress and set up an, an admin username and password and other configuration settings take of course your time to input accurate information and after configuring the settings proceed to install wordpress uh, softaculous of course will handle the installation process and you will see a progress bar once completed you will receive confirmation and you can access your wordpress site using the provided login details now that your wordpress is installed simply just go and access your wordpress dashboard as an example so for me i'll just go and just here the local host also we need like the plugin or something like that but anyway of course uh, once you access of course now your uh, wordpress dashboard by navigating to you your domain of course which is uh, uh, slash wp admin log in with the admin credentials and uh, use sets of course during the installation process and this is where you will manage and customize your wordpress site so then to establish, of course, a deeper connection between cPanel and WordPress, let's explore like, or you can explore basically the cPanel Find Manager. Find it on your cPanel dashboard. 
you'll find it right there and of course in the file manager will allow you to directly access and manage your website files a handy tool which is for advanced users especially if you get used to it and then using file manager you can edit wordpress files perform troubleshooting tasks or make advanced customization be cautious uh, while editing the files to avoid unintended issues and familiarize yourself with the structure of your wordpress installation and lastly consider like using cpanel for routine maintenance and backups create regular backup for your WordPress site through cPanel to ensure you can quickly restore it in case of any issues. A proactive approach is key to well-maintained website. Example, let me just go and use the admin credentials to log in, of course, into my real cPanel because uh, or my real. Uh, okay, remind me later. Uh, WordPress of course so here of course you'll be able to do even a lot of stuff you'll be even even to edit your uh, your site edit your site from here now, of course once your cPanel is connected to WordPress you can start doing whatever you want with WordPress you can start adding your plugins you can start creating your site like a WooCommerce site uh, a WordPress directly site you can do a lot of other stuff that you want to do of course so go and now let you go and check all that out by yourself uh, sorry of course for not providing like some specific details like showing you exactly how because I don't have access to my cPanel right now but I try to do it with this free host and what it seems like it's not working and of course other than that I guess you've already done you'll just have to follow the steps that I told you about so just access your cPanel account locate and open the soft Oculus apps installer choose WordPress and configure settings install the WordPress and then you will be able to access the WordPress dashboard explore the C panel file manager this is just of course for advanced users and you can now edit and files and perform some advanced tasks of course once you get used to it and familiarize yourself with it you'll be able now to even do some maintenance and backups on the file manager you can use of course the cpanel for routine maintenance and backups and yeah i guess like this is gonna be it so if you like this video of course or uh, Make sure to leave a like down below because there you have it. You've successfully learned how to connect cPanel to WordPress. So thank you for joining me today. Of course, if you have any issues, you can leave it down below in the comment section. And make sure to subscribe to our accounts for more helpful stories like this one. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.